everyone, welcome back to Auto House in Naples. Today I have a very unique and rare car for everybody. But before we get into this, make sure and follow our Facebook, our Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube, click the bell to turn the notifications on, and make sure and check out our website, autohouseinaples.com, for this car and all of our other cars. All right, so what we have today is a super unique car. I'm really excited about this one. It's a 1966 Dodge Monaco. And uh, what's gonna make this one the most unique out of probably anyone you'll ever really see is that this one's a convertible. They didn't make uh, the convertibles in the US, so this is one of the Canadian models. And I, I really like that. Up, up front, the uh, so this one replaced the custom 88, or not 88, the custom 880. And what's gonna be different is you have the headlights are a little bit different than the 880. And then you also have a different grille, which is, it's similar, but it's definitely a little different as well. You've got your, uh, your Dodge badging right here. Everything on this car is in fairly great condition. It's, it's so crazy to believe that this was a car made in the 60s. Up front, you have just the whole, all the chrome up front is in really great shape and it looks super great on the car. You've got a lot of different badging throughout and you have just like little touches right here. And you're going to have another little badging right there. And we were talking about this car earlier. It's just an absolute boat. It is huge. Um, it's very comfortable though, a very smooth ride. Um, up front here, you've got these really cool wheels. They're so reflective. It's basically like a mirror on there. And uh, the tires are in great shape as well. is you have a little bit more of the siding across the side kind of reminds me of on a street the uh what do you call that the middle line yeah but yeah overall the body and the lines are on it are in really great shape you can see um the lines all the way down the car this one doesn't have any um dents or door dings anything like that this one's been super well maintained I really like on the back tires, you have this cover, so it kind of, um, <laughs> I had a bug got a bug. <laughs> um, it kind of cover, it like hides the tire a little bit and it keeps the shape of the car, uh, very uniform, which is cool. So it has just this, such a sleek look and I don't know, it just looks like it'd be floating around. On the back, one thing that's, you know, super unique, you got your Monaco badging very specific to the Monaco, obviously. <laughs> kind of weird to see that in any other car. But on the back, I think one of the coolest things about the car is the tail lights and how they form together. You kind of have like a bit wider and then it goes a little bit more narrow and you've got your Dodge badging, but it's just a very unique tail light that you don't really see. There's more planes. A lot of planes today. And then you've got your chrome bumper. Super loud. Yeah, right? Sounds pretty good. We got a good mm -hmm. V8. Let's open up the trunk. <laughs> squeak, squeak. <laughs> so this one is huge trunk. Absolutely road trip car. Um, I don't even want to know what you'd fit in here because there's just so much space like you could fit anything luggage I, for a family of five probably. yeah at least um you've got it does come with it's got some uh tools that come with it it's got a car cover some extra stuff that all fits back here we took it out just so you could see how much space there is but it's such a great size trunk it's made for a road trip. and it's got sound effects yeah too. Um, and then on the back, you still have that Monaco badging on this side as well. It's just in really great shape. It's a car like this that makes you shocked that it's from the 60s and it looks as great as it does. 
One thing I like is the whole interior, you can kind of get a glimpse of it. It's this bright red interior. And I love that the, the boot cover is in that matching um, that matching red. So you get a little glimpse of it when the top, top is down because your boot cover and you get a little see the seats a little bit. But it has this matching kind of red and a little bit off white color throughout the whole entire car and it looks very striking. So let's pop the hood. And this one, really, everyone that I've asked has said it's kind of a little different and it threw me off. But down here, you're going to have a little latch that you're going to pull all the way over and that's going to pop the hood up. And then over here, you have just a little lever and you'll pull it up. It really confused me the first time though. <laughs> Um, and so in here, you're going to have a really awesome engine. I mean, you already heard it. It sounds great. It looks great in here. We have a 383 CI V8 engine, and it's going to be a four barrel carburetor with 325 horsepower. Wow. So you got your built 383 CI and it's just, it's a big boy. Yeah. So clean in here. Yeah. It's really, it's Pretty, pretty clean overall, even like your paint on the side here, mm -hmm. super clean. It's in really great shape and it, you know, it runs good. Power top works good. So we'll put that up in a second too. All right, so let's check out the inside. All right, so starting with the back seats first though, you've got a lot of space. I mean, this car's so big, it'd be silly if you had no back seat space. But you got quite a bit of space. Your seats are in uh, super great condition. I love this color combo. You've got that red with that off-white. Um, super comfortable too. I think that's the theme of this car. In the back, you're also gonna have your power windows, which that's kind of nice to control in the back. If you need a little bit of air or breeze. But overall, really great shape. And you've got that red carpeting throughout as well. And then inside here, you're gonna have a pretty simple, sleek interior. Um, you're gonna have your glove box, Let's start there. I really like this one, it comes with the original 1966 Dodge Owner's Manual. It's, I mean, looks pretty nice for 66. Yeah. Um, it's really cool, it's you know all original, everything like that. I always think those are so neat. Looks like something you'd find in a museum. Yeah, right? Like all preserved and mm -hmm. special box. And then over here, you've got your radio, you've got your little clock right here, which I really like. It's nice that um, all the little, uh, what do you call those? Uh, Lovers, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, they're all, they're all still nice and orange. They're not faded, anything like that. You've got your air right there. You do have some really cool, like old school looking um, aftermarket gauges right here, which that's really nice to have and kind of you know, be more aware of just what speed you're going and everything like that. Got your wheel right here and love the, you know, old classic steering wheels. It's so thin and you've got your Monaco badging right here, which is really nice. And then over here, you're just gonna have some more gauges and your lights, your brake, everything like that. This is the top button, which took me a minute to find that too, but you've got your convertible top button right here. Super unique and cool that we got a convertible of a Monaco since that's so rare and unique to find. And then right here, you know, you've got your gear shifter. All of that's in great shape. And you've got pretty good space in your center console box. Can't complain with that. And you've got the matching red. I just love this one. Not too much to complain about. It's in super great shape. Oh, and up here you got your little sunshades too. All right, so let's get the car started and get the top up.
unique, unique, awesome car, make sure and check it out on our website, autohouseinnaples.com, and let us help you drive your dream.